Hey everyone, Davey here, your resident Harry Potter knockoff. Um, so this is the first episode of my Let's Build series. Um, you may notice already that this is sped up, and it's also really, really late. For you guys in the US, um, well across the pond anyway, this should not be an issue for you. For you guys, my countrymen, I am sorry. Basically, I spent the entire review of Saturday doing a kind of, I guess, live Let's Play, of Let's Build of this, and then I edited it for about four or five hours for did all the audio and I just absolutely despised it because because I wanted to cut it down it just didn't look right and didn't sound right I wanted to show you guys all the errors I made so basically this is why this is late because I just scrapped the whole thing when I got back from the cinema today I saw Star Wars by the way it's amazing need to watch it no spoilers in the comments people anyway so basically um, what I want to do with this one is um, I wanted my first building to be uh, kind of almost a mayoral house or potentially kind of the, the hub of the settlement. With the whole style I'm going for here is I want them to look as scrappy as possible so I use lots of different textures. Um, it does take me a while to get it set up. You can see these doors here, um, these walls rather, are being absolute pain in the asses. I don't know why, for some reason when I was placing them down they just weren't clipping in. Um, especially at the back here, so there we go. This is fine, and I'm alternating between the two different styles um, and they just kept being complete twats. So one place in. But it's looking, it does, I'm quite pleased with how this looks out. If you guys find my voice annoying and just want to look and see what the settlement uh, looks like, there's, just scroll right to the end of the video. I've got a nice little silent walk around that you can see. Um, so this one right here was being a dick. I placed it in. Normally, as I said, I don't like repetition of the same surface, whether in small instances it is okay. Um, so, right, now I'm putting the doorway in. Quick notes, I'm going on Reddit. Uh, sorry, I can't remember your username, so I might do apologies. Um, I was actually asked me how to do what I'm about to do now. Um, it's, loads of you guys probably know this, but if you put a doorway down and then put a platform against it, a small one, you can actually place it in the center rather than the the, the corners. So it allows you to do what I'm doing right now, which is place um, a little kind of decking. See here, what I did was I originally was going to have the decking on that side. If I didn't at the fact that I went that direction, obviously it was too low, so I moved the whole thing to the side. I'm also, again, alternating between the two different um, small platforms because sometimes I do forget and then just use the same one, but I kind of was conscious that I didn't want to then you guys record it, me going back and then replacing them so they look realistic. So basically, I'm quite pleased with how this settle, um, this um, structure worked out, but it was quite fiddly, especially when I got to the top floor, as you will see. Um, I said painting the railings right now. Um, normally, often, sometimes I'm lazy and don't do them, but I wanted to get kind of complete areas as I went. Um, as you can see right now, I'm kind of being a bit obsessive with uh, <laughs> making sure that I'm not accidentally placing the same ones close together. I did warn you, by the way, that I am really obsessive. Um, but yeah, see, right here, I didn't even realise. There are a few instances of the railings as well where I have accidentally missed them out in the corners, um, just through just absent-mindedness. However, because I'm going for quite a scrappy vibe with these towns, um, I don't know, it doesn't really bother me too much, because slight errors give it character. Now, a little note with the way I'm doing it with the um, the bridges now. It's probably sped up, but what I'm actually doing is I'm clicking on them once, moving them a smidgen, and then placing them again. So rather than clicking on it and trying to move it directly into position in one go, this allows you to kind of move it piece by piece, and that way if you do a little fuck up, you can just cancel and then just try and move it again from a different position. So I've got the bottom done. It's looking pretty nice. It looks structurally believable as well. So I want to do the top floor now. This is completely organic, um, and it was quite fun. It was nightmarish at times. You're going to see me dick around for about eight minutes, so I do apologise. Um, especially when I try and figure out how to get upstairs, um, and also um, how to just make it look believable. Um, so I had a little bit of an issue with this wall here, this floor rather. Um, so it's looking pretty cool though. The premise is there. So already I realised that I didn't want it to just be one tall structure. I wanted this kind of upper decking, I don't know what to call it, but basically this area where it's basically I've got this flat surface on the front of the building. Now because this is a basically the mayoral house, I wanted a guard post at the top. Um, I do this in the castle, it's a pretty nice little straightforward technique, you just put the railings on the side and even though it does clip, you can see you can actually just squeeze them in there. Um, it does take a little bit of fiddling to actually get it in the right position, so I go in the front there and I keep moving it forward, um, but it, it usually is a quite a nice effect. I do edit that part in a minute, but because it gives it a nice kind of gravity when you actually look at the structure. Um, 
So now is where it gets a little fiddly, because see what I've got to done is I've basically placed the walls. Um, I, I, I can't fit the door in in a sec, so I'm going to place these railings down here. It's going to look all nice, and then I'm going to try and have um, a little bit of a headache. Um, but I didn't want to cut these parts out. That's why I actually ended up scrapping my last piece of footage because I ended up cutting a lot of this awkwardness out because it ended up being about, I think, about an hour, hour and a half of me just nip rapping away. Um, and obviously I couldn't speed up because my voice would all be squeakier than normal. Um, so I decided just, that's why this is late, basically. From now on, I now, now know how I'm going to structure these. Um, any comments, by the way, will be really appreciated. See, right now, with this part, initially I was going to place the walls down. Um, and then I thought to myself, actually, what I want to do is a slightly bulbous surface on the top. Um, the cool thing is with that, even though there's going to be overhang with um, those side walls there, um, because of the fact that it's not too much, it, it looks it, it would still support its own weight. As I see here, I'm putting little corners on. Now this is where things get a little bit awkward because I want to root upstairs. So ostensibly the structure looks good, but how am I going to get a doorway in there? So I do try it initially, I believe. Yeah, I do. So I go straight to the doorway and it's just not going in. The reason being is because obviously it needs to snap to a floor and obviously the floors are completely connected. So you're going to see me screw around. This is an interesting technique that does work for pre-existing structures. I'm going to try and do it for here. It's not going to work at all. But drunk uh, junk fences... Um, also make really, really good doorways. Um, uh, especially, I'm tempted to actually try it on some of the buildings in Sanctuary. I think, is it, um, uh, a couple of the settlements actually have the Sanctuary houses in them. So basically, I can squeeze it in, but it's got a few gaps at the side. Um, so there we go, I think I'm... I turn it around. The reason being is because it wasn't on a completely flat surface, the rug was actually sinking too far into the floor. Um, that's a very good note with this rug glitch, um, is the fact is that it does need to be a flat surface, because if it's not flat, it does sink a little bit there, but if I look, I raise it up and I can see it is in line, so it's fine. Um, and also a note with the rug glitch as well, is that the reason why I'm having so much issues here is because I'm trying to squeeze it in. See, that just doesn't look right, and I also got my rug stuck in the floor, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. Um, is the fact is because this is a structure I've made, it's a little bit less forgiving than when you're placing it inside... Um, uh, a kind of Bethesda made kind of pre-existing structure for whatever reason the collision is a little different so now I try the doorway thinking right screw it I won't do a fence let's do a standard doorway and as you can see I'm having the same same issues again I do get it in but you're going to realize that because I do like things look, look there's a big gap there so I'll take those off this is my initial I thought okay maybe it's just because I'm using flat walls they're actually snapping to the doorway not the ceiling so see I think I had a bit of a trouble with this one there we go, so I get it in there, and I think, okay, that's ostensibly okay. Um, this area is going to completely change, by the way, what I'm going to do now. I initially even tried to block up the hole with a piece of wood, and I realised it would just look clumsy. Um, so I'm going to look at it at the top in a second. Oh yeah, get rid of the rug. Don't forget to get rid of your rugs, people, because you end up having about 12 of them just lying around, um, and it's just annoying. <laughs> um, so I go on the top here, and I can really see there's a giant gap, so I'm just going to scrap all this shit here. Um... It's because basically I wanted a n realistic route upstairs. So this is where I start having slow eureka moments. This is how I build. Um, if you guys don't like the way I'm doing this, let me know. But basically, I did want to show you guys every single step I take. See, this is a really good thing. You can actually use the flat shack roofs as flooring. Now, you can't snap anything to them. So you notice I've got the railings there, but I had to place the railings on the floor first and then replace this. The reason being is because it's just nice flat surface. It tends to squeeze into areas quite nicely. So I've got it in there, but the problem is now obviously I can't have the railings on. It's a bit of a nightmare. But I'm starting to slowly kind of figure out how I'm going to work this because it's all about the build order and it's all about just trying different things See, this is where I go, aha, I've got a better way of making stairs upstairs, upstairs to the top of the building. Um, I start filling around a little bit. Initially, I have them there. I will move them into a different direction a second when I have a kind of another use. So the door goes in quite nicely there now. So that's that part sorted. But I have a massive issue, which is namely covering that up. So there we go. See, I've got that part there. Um, in a minute, I'm going to move the stairs. But so I can put that there, so that's fine. But just these two walls here took me ages and I try various different techniques um, you see in a second 
can actually see me thinking. <laughs> you can see me thinking, just going like, oh, it's not working. So there we go. I move that because the reason I've now got that gap at the back. Um, so that way when you go in, you can just, it's, you've got a little space to actually get onto the roof. I think I actually left that doorway up there for ages. What am I doing right now? There we go. So I'm trying to get the door in. This is uh, where it gets a little tricky. It does work out, don't you worry. Um, but it's, I just, I want to give you guys an idea of what I were doing right now. Um, so there's another transition. Um, I, the reason being I have cut a few bits out where I'm just basically wandering around the building just trying to think, um, what do I do? What do I do? Um, because <laughs> I don't want to just sit there humming to myself. So what am I doing now? There we go. I'm still trying to figure this part out. Hopefully with the later videos I won't fuck around as much as I'm doing now, but it's just helpful for you guys to see it really, I think. Um, so you understand what you're getting into if you try and build that shit like this. So there we go. Firstly, I want to build and move those stairs back because they're a little bit poorly positioned. Um, that does mean, and I did not realise this, and in hindsight I might actually go back, um, is that if you go to the back of the settlement now, there's going to be... Um, there's going to be no uh, foundation supporting the back, only in the centre, so it doesn't look silly. But generally speaking, what I might do is actually just pop a bridge in there. So there we go. Now I've moved the stairs again, because I've now got that space. Um, and it also means that the stairs are now going towards the roof. So I took a break from doing the downstairs, because it was giving me a headache. Um, and I want to do the upstairs. Oh, by the way, it is dark. Don't worry, I do realise that in a second, and build a bed and go to sleep. Because um, I was like, I couldn't see for starters, and I'm assuming you couldn't see as well. Um, so popping the railings there, again, always alternating them, always repetition people, got to avoid it, it looks shit. I mean, some people think it looks good, I think it looks absolutely bollocks. Um, there we go, so I realise it's a bit dark right now. So it's looking pretty cool, it's coming together and it's got this kind of weirdly organic, kind of completely unplanned vibe. The whole idea of this is I wanted it to be someone who has just found a load of junk and just thought, right, I'm going to fuck around and see what I can make with this. So there we go, I'm going to place my bed right now, so it's going to get all sunny a sec. It also started raining too. There we go, it's a lot sunnier now. Right, so I'm still a bit confused by upstairs. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I do figure it out, don't you worry. It's all about the experimentation with this. It, this it's part like this that take me the longest amount of time. It's something small, like one wall or one railing that I don't really know where I'm going to go with it. So I initially was thinking, thinking of placing that door right there and it just looks absolutely ridiculous. I do have my eureka moment in a second. Oh, then I place down some stairs. To Cause sometimes the stairs will snap in because obviously because there's the roof there, um, it's not going to snap in. So there we go. Now I think about using the rug glitch. Don't worry. The reason why I thought this is sometimes you can actually use the rug glitch and place the walls perfectly so they look good. This does not look good. Um, it ends up looking like absolute ass. However, it's always good to experiment because sometimes you can kind of, I guess, cheat the system a little bit. So I, it doesn't actually squeeze in too badly. Again, because I'm squeezing into my own structures. There's a little bit overhang. It also then, and I believe, yes, right now I'm going to try and squeeze in the second wall. So this part here. It doesn't work. I could have cut this out, but I actually wanted to show you guys exactly just how awkward it could be. So we go run up there, and I'm trying to do this, and it's just not working at all. Um, I think a place. Oh, look at it! It looks awful. Oh, good lord! Um, I ended up just scrapping the entire idea. I'm fiddling around with that roof because I want to move it off for a second. So I take it off now. I'm getting close to when I figure out how I can actually place these down. So if I get rid of that, then that snaps in. Then I can place the wall in. It's having a bit of a trouble. You figure it out in a sec, don't you worry. There we go. There we go. And I've got that in. And I can just slip that and it, the guard post immediately snaps down. Those flat roofs seriously make amazing floors. Situational. If you notice my castle video, I've actually used them as flooring on the top of the battlements. The reason being is because I wanted to have a kind of a continuous floor going across the entire structure. Um, and sometimes obviously with the, the the shape of the foundations they wouldn't snap um, whereas if you put though you can basically use these as like little kind of connector things so there we go I'm still trying to figure out this I haven't actually done the most obvious thing yet which I do in a second don't you worry because obviously that still looks like absolute dick a bag of dicks a geyser of dicks in fact 
Um, I even tried the railings. Oh god, that was awful. So I'm still figuring it out. Having a little brain fuck. Was it, uh, you, you can see, I was actually thinking of even leave, leaving that open, but it's like I said, I wanted to... There we go. i do it in a sec. Come on, David. You can figure it out. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Take the bloody door off, you twat. And look at that. Oh, beautiful. Something I literally achieved in about 15 seconds that took me about 5 10... Well, actually, no, actually, that took me about 25 minutes to figure out. So now we've got the basic structure done. Now it gets a lot easier. There is one more. Oh, I fall down quite a bit as well. There is one more thing I do in a sec, which you guys will like. And I'm actually thinking of making a separate tutorial video for it. Um, so I'm just going to pop the railings on now, I believe. Yeah, it's going to get this stuff sorted. You may notice as well, again, I'm leaving a few of the railings out. Completely unintentional, I'll be honest. Um, however, I'm actually not bothered because it does give it a kind of nice, believable effect. Um, it's not bad at all. The idea being that these weren't really planned. They were just slapped together. Um, it looks a lot like... I, I'm quite pleased by this, to be honest. There we go. You see the way it overhangs. Um, and I've got that guard post at the top. Don't forget your rugs. Mats. They're called mats, for fuck's sake. So, right. Next thing, we just kind of plop the doors on, because I'm reasonably satisfied with the structure. And again, I'm not going to put um, any furniture in the buildings whatsoever. Um, owned on the outside, just because... I don't know if I mentioned it, but I just I did the let's play, and it just looked shit. This is my favourite structure I'm about to build. There is a toilet on the roof. <laughs> I was watching Scrubs recently, um, and now every time I build any settlement, I always sneak a toilet on the roof. Um, they're amazing. They're really simple to do as well. I do move these around because I realise these people wouldn't have any privacy. But if you use those little corner pieces, and you can just slap a toilet in, and then you have little toilet cubicles. I kind of wish the toilets were a little less busted, but then this is the apocalypse, I guess. I do move them around though, because at the moment you see they're facing. In a minute, I'll move them to the side so they're not so the people who are actually, you know, taking a dump actually get a little bit of privacy. That's the ladies right there, in case you're wondering. And there's the gents, lovely, beautiful. So as I said, I'm gonna add a little bit of furniture. I always take the logic with the furniture is kind of less is more um, with the outside bit. You want a little bit to kind of give you some character. But at the same time, don't overdo it. Oh wait, no, I do the generator first, don't I? Yeah. So with the generator, I'm going to use a large one. The reason being is because obviously this is the town hall kind of mayoral um, house area. I figured what I can do is use this to power the entire settlement. Also with this one, I'm not going to use windmills at all, I think. I might mix them up for aesthetics. Um, but I kind of, because this is going to be a bit more junkier than sanctuary, I kind of wanted it to be a bit more noisier. Um, with this is a really good technique, by the way. Um, as I said, with the with the repetition that I mentioned in my tutorial video, it's okay in small instances. It actually looks quite good in small instances, because that does not look like I've repeated the same texture. It looks like I've just slapped down that one entire structure. So I run upstairs now. Do I put the furniture in first, or do I put it afterwards? I can't remember. Ah, no, I'm doing the pylons now. Same with the pylons. Um, little pylons like this look really, really nice on the top of structures. Um, I said a lot of people are probably a bit more economical with their placement of pylons and conduits. I, I tend to kind of like to use lots of them because I just think wires look glorious flying around everywhere like this. It just looks amazing. Now I have a little thing here. So I initially thought, okay, I'll put a big one down. Because, um, you know, it'll just look weird. It'll look cool. And then I kind of realised what I could have done. It's like, wait a minute, David. That's stupid. Goodbye. This is the mayoral, uh, mayoral house, which means this is where the recruitment radio beacon needs to go. And then it looks like it has a reason up there as well, which is quite nice. I've got to remember to turn that off, though, um, because um, I did that with a few of my settlements where I just left it on and completely forgot about it. So I, I, um, I might go back up here and put a bit more furniture, but I just put a couple of tables there just to give you guys a kind of visual idea of what you can do with the space. Actually, I put one there. It doesn't mean... So then move these toilets around a little bit. Um, I don't know, I might actually take the toilets off, they always just make me giggle. So, by the way, this is how you do the toilets proper. So basically, just use those little cubicle areas, go to the wall here, and voila! You have loose. Glorious. So there we go, it's pretty much coming together now. Um, it's mostly just about um, lighting the place up. I did cut out a quite big section in this because it was... I, on a tangent, decided to put a few desks down. 
I've cut it out completely because I realised one, it was going to take me ages to actually get them in. So there we go. Just there, I'd actually spent ages putting some desks in. I just hated it, so I took them out because uh, it was just going to be boring. You were just going to see me placing loads of chairs and things. Now this, this is how you make really nice staircases. You notice I built out three. I take off the back one and I drop it to the floor. Now, this takes me three times to get this lined up. Watch what I do here, and I'm going to make a separate tutorial for this for you guys, you know, because I'm not expecting everyone to watch this entire let's build. So basically, you build a staircase, put a board, and you put them on the side like that. That stops the stairs from actually snapping in. Then you place another stairs, another small a floor, and then up like this. It takes a while, you'll see in a second why I do this. this it took me about five minutes overall to actually get them lined up. Um, but I just want to demonstrate you guys, like see there, they're not lined up, but they're nearly lined up. Um, so I put the board on, it's now overhanging. If I place it on the top, it's still, the stairs are still not aligned. Now, the one issue is you're going to see, you have to, those small floors, um, you do end up having to leave them on, which can look potentially messy if you do it in a big place. I actually had it in the hangman's alley, but it's on the top floors, and because you were passing under the stairs, I thought it looked really shit. So here, what I'm doing right now is I'm thinking, okay, if I make them a little tighter, I can maybe squeeze in. I do not, but it's just demonstrating. I'm also notice I'm running out of wood as well, but don't worry, it's nearly finished. So again, at the top, at the top. The reason being is it stops that floor from snapping in. So this is where I realise, right, it's going to need to go back. So it's fine though because it's so well positioned. Oh yeah, I try one more failing time and I give up. Okay, so move that down. And I just move that because it's only about, what, half a foot or something? Place the floors down, and this is going to snap perfectly this time. I'm going to make a separate tutorial for this because this technique is useful for um, other things as well, like making little raised areas because um, it allows you to actually place these small floors high, but not, they're kind of like chest high or even knee high. And the good thing about this is even if, so you notice that's not actually angled straight, doesn't matter because I can just re-angle the stairs and it, it gives them this kind of slightly rickety look. Look at that, perfect. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. So there we go, there's your rickety stairs. Um, I think I believe, yeah, I'm going to post a couple of lights down just to kind of, yeah, I did also try and place a few railings as well. Um, you can... If I moved the stairs and straightened them up, I could probably actually place railings in the centre. Um, but eventually I gave up, to be honest, because it's only a small area and it doesn't really matter. So pop a few lights in. Um, again, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little visual aid of what it would look like from the outside. So I'm not going to do the inside at all, because there's no need. And plus, to be honest, I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to decorate it. Um, so just place a few pylons, um, conduits rather down. I like being a bit more generous with my conduits, because I just love cables going everywhere. I really want mods to come to console so I can actually have cable those um, cable lanterns. So they'll look grand. It's so looking pretty good so far. I just realised as well I hadn't decorated this decking, so I'm, I believe I'm going to pop some furniture down. So yeah, there you go. Pop a couple of tables down. Um, again, with this, I tend to use, to be honest, with my outside furniture, I'm pretty dull with it. Because the thing is, there's so much furniture you can use but it doesn't fit the aesthetic. I mean, I might end up putting sofas down and things like that, but with this I just kind of slap down something quite quickly. Um, just to kind of... Because, again, it's it's not really important. Like, when, when I'm decorating, I will spend ages. I just generally do this. Little thing. Pop down my radio. Deliberately not turn it on. Because I don't want to get done for copyright by using someone else's song. And then the final thing. Got to have your Minutemen flag. It's got to be done. Or your Brotherhood of Steel, if you like those assholes or the institute if you're just an asshole I guess um, these are bloody annoying but they are worth it yeah there we go so yeah I think um yeah so this is just a quick walk around now I'm gonna sign off for now but just give you guys a little kind of slow walk around of what the settlement looks like let me know what you think of this um, I'll try to make them a little bit more concise next time and also now that I know how I'm gonna structure these um, I won't be posting them at now what is 20 to 4 in the morning so it'll probably be about 5 before I get this out you guys take care